Now, Kazakhstan is probably one of the last countries you would think about investing in real estate abroad. But I'm going to give you 10 reasons why I think this can potentially be quite a decent market to invest in. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to concentrate on the capital um, formerly known as Astana and now known as Nur Sultan. I will stick with the previous name Astana in this video. Now, the other major city is Almaty and Almaty, although it's the commercial center, I don't think it's quite as good as an investment as Astana simply because wages are lower and property prices are higher. So anyway, here are 10 reasons why I think you should invest in Kazakhstan real estate and more specifically Astana. Number one, the prices in Astana are very, very low. So in the city center where the government buildings are and tourist attractions, you can get property for about 1000 US dollars per square meter. But better still, just outside the center where um, it's more popular, more densely populated, uh, where you have schools, malls, the university, hospitals, etc., you can actually buy property for 800, around 800 US dollars per square meter. That is exceptional value. And if you go to the outskirts of Astana, you can actually find property for around four to 500 US dollars per square meter. Number two, the yields are exceptionally good in Astana. So you're looking at around seven and a half to eight percent, and that is much better than most countries that I've covered here. Um, number three, um, what I like as well is the economy. Um, from around 2017 to 2019, the economy grew at around 4% every year. That um, is pretty good going. And also the unemployment rate in Kazakhstan is very low at under 5%. But what I like most of all, and as people who follow this channel regularly know, the government debt, the total government debt to GDP is very, very low at under 20%. Now, as at the end of 19, I'll give you the figure 18.8%. Now, you compare that to most countries, for example, the US, 100%, and the European Union, where it's about 80 to 85%. This is really, really, really good. Number four, what I also like is the resources. Now, Kazakhstan has an abundance of natural resources, oil, petroleum, copper, zinc, fantastic. And as its population is not particularly large, so you have 19 million people who live in Kazakhstan, the resources are not going to finish anytime soon. Number five, what I also like is that um, Kazakhstan is actually quite pro-business. So in the 2019 global ranking, it came in position 28th for ease of doing business. Now that's pretty good. And it's actually ahead of countries like Switzerland. And it's actually going in the right direction. Um, it used to be in the 90s, not so long ago, but now 28 and climbing. Number six, what I like, the fertility rate. So in Kazakhstan, the average birth rate is 2.7 per couple. That is really, really quite high, especially compared to Europe and North America. Number seven, what I also like is that Astana itself has grown ex a lot over the last 20 years. So listen to this, the population back in 1999 of Astana was actually 300,000. Today, 2020, it's over a million. So it's gone up by over three times in just over 20 years. What I also like as well, the taxation is not particularly high in Kazakhstan. So you're looking at income tax at 10%, capital gains tax at 15%, and corporation tax at 20%. Now, a lot of people will say this is not really, really exceptional, but it's much, much better than the average. And um, number nine, what I also like is that in this market, Kazakhstan, as, as an investor from abroad, you're actually going to have an advantage here because you're going to have a first mover advantage. Um, not many people invest in Kazakhstan from abroad. So if you go and do that yourself, you, you've basically got a first mover advantage. Number 10, what I also like is tourism. Now, tourism um, has grown at a hell of a rate. So in back in 1995, um, how many tourists did Kazakhstan have? 150,000. Today, 
2019, it had over two and a half million. That's exceptional growth. And I only see that continuing into the future. Now, I've given 10 pretty good reasons why I think you should invest in Kazakhstan. But unfortunately, that's not the whole story. There are three things I'm going to mention here, um, which are not in favor of the Kazakhstan market. Now, number one, um, Kazakhstan has endless land. You're looking at a population of 19 million and a territory which is bigger than Western, the whole of Western Europe put together. So when you can build on endless amounts of land, that may just put a cap on prices going forward in the future. Also, buying in this market, um, it's denominated in the local currency, the Tenge. Now, the Tenge has actually been devalued is has devalued over the last few years and this may continue so there is a currency risk um, and number three now I hate this and I, I really don't understand you as a, a foreign individual cannot buy into this market you need to have residency and residency is very very hard you've either obviously got to be an Uzbek national Uzbek origin or marry an Uzbek and most of us are, do not fall into that category there is one way around that, so forming a local company, but forming a local company, um, your main activity must not actually be buying property. You've got to have some other activity and have like a side issue of buying property. Now, uh, some lawyers in Kazakhstan will say this is, will be good enough if you just, you know, give a few bills out and then buy property in the local company. And some other lawyers will say, no, your, your main activity must be something else. And the side activity is buying property. Now, the way around that is actually if you buy through a foreign owned company, which is rather bizarre. But uh, unfortunately, um, you'll agree with me. There's a lot of hassle buying into this market. So if you don't decide to go in now, and I'm not saying don't go in now because the prices are fantastic to go in at, at you can buy at under $1,000 per square meter. And I'm sure there's very, very few capitals that you can do that. But you may, if you don't want to go in now, keep an eye on this market. I'm going to keep an eye on this market to see if that law changes and it's easier either to buy through getting residency, so making it easier, or buying, they'll let you buy as a foreign investor, which you can do in other countries like even Belarus and Russia, but you can't do here. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts. Um, I know Kazakhstan, I, I'll be very, very surprised if any of you from abroad have bought in Kazakhstan, but if you have, please do let me know. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts, uh, put comments down, click like, um, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.